Hello, nice to see you again. I'm Graham Martin, I'm the recruitment guy from orchardjobs.com. Today I want to talk to you about some really good old fashioned common sense interview tips. Stuff that I know makes a big difference and can transform your performance from, from average to exceptional. And as I've said many times before, it's not necessarily the best qualified or even the best candidate that gets the job. It's the one that comes across better in the interview and during the interview process. So today's video is going to be about interview tips. And indeed there's been some terrific books written about how to behave in an interview. And I've read some of those and, and some of them are fantastic. And if you've got the time, hit Amazon, do some research. And I guarantee you'll pick up a few new subtle tips that are going to make a difference to you. But I'm going to try and give you in a condensed form, for me, my, my, my top tips, my highlights that for over 20 years I've known have made a real difference. And um, I suppose that, that one of the successes of, of my business, of my recruitment agency, is the fact that our employers hire a very high percentage of the people that we introduce to them. And I reckon that whilst our people are, are splendid and, and magnificent candidates, it's often the case that they are prepared better, that gives them the edge, that means they get the job. So I'm gonna pass those tips on to you now. So the first one is, guess what? Get a decent night's sleep. There's nothing worse than you turn up at an interview and you might be a little bit stressed and, and you're tired and you're yawning. And that can blow it for you. The second thing is, make sure you know where you're going. And do a recce, maybe a day or a night before, make sure you know where you're going, make sure you know where to park, if there's a bus, what time does it get there, how far is it from the bus stop to where you're gonna go for an interview. So please make sure that you've done that research in advance. Of course, obvious stuff, make sure you look and smell nice. And again, guys, unless you're going for a, a media or an advertising or some kind of arts related role, please be careful with you know earrings and, and makeup and stuff like that. Employers, not always, but are often you know, middle-aged people like me, and they wanna hire slightly younger versions of themselves. Not always, but oftentimes. So just try and fit in. So, from the previous video, you've got your interview questions lined up, and you've got it in your hardback book, so make sure you've got that. And if you've got a briefcase or a bag, make sure it looks nice and neat and tidy. And if you're gonna use a pen, Please don't use uh, one that's been chewed or gnarled or the dog's got hold of. Make sure you've got one or two decent pens. So you turn up and my suggestion is that you shouldn't be an hour or half an hour early. It, it gives the impression you're desperate. But maybe just turn up 10, 15 minutes early, walk into reception. Hi, my name's Graham Martin. I've come to see Richard Branson. And she'll say, thank you very much, Mr. Martin. Take a seat. So if you're going to engage with the receptionist, if they're busy, if they're on the phone, taking calls, don't interrupt them, but in a, an appropriate quiet time, you can make some small talk. I've got one client in particular who always says to the staff that is in the, uh, in the sales office, where the future potential employee will sit and wait, they will say, well, what did you think of John? Did he make eye contact? Did he have a chat? Did he pick any literature up? So just be very aware about that. Um, some years ago, I went for a, a client business meeting and I was amazed to hear that they had the CCTV trained on the car park and they were looking to see how I behaved when I got out of the car and get this, the boss's PA when I was in the meeting walked to my car to see how clean the car was and whether it was scruffy or untidy inside. Now I'm glad to say that I actually got the business. But one of the reasons I got the business was because my car was clean, neat and tidy and I looked smart and I had my jacket on before I got out of the car. Now that was a bit wacky but just remember people are watching you. There may be nobody in reception but you might well have CCTV trained on you so beware. Eyes are everywhere. So you're in reception, maybe you pick up some literature. Maybe look around the walls, get a feel for any awards that the company has got. You might want to use those in a later conversation. But certainly do flick through the trade magazines. And indeed, if you've done your research, you should know what trade press is particularly read by the business that you're going to. And there's a wide variety of magazines. If you've watched Have I Got News For You, you'll see they often use weird and wonderful trade magazines like Candle Manufacturing Monthly. These magazines exist. 
and you need to be aware of that. So anyway, let's assume that the employer or your interviewer comes to meet and greet you or, or maybe you're taken to meet them. What's one of the first things you do? Well, the first thing you do is you announce yourself, you introduce yourself again. Hi, I'm Graham Martin, good to see you. Thank you for your time. Also, make sure that if you, ha if you shake hands, which I strongly recommend you do, that you don't try and break their hand. There's no prizes for having a really strong, hard hand grip. But also, don't be a wet fish. And you've probably seen some other videos about this, but you probably know it yourself. You can practice it with friends. Decent, strong, dry handshake. And if you do sweat a little bit, just wipe it on your clothing just a second before. But just be careful that you're not doing this because it just looks dreadful. So, good eye contact is always very important. Now, in another video blog, we're going to talk about body language and there's some, some really good stuff out there and some stuff which I think is just pop psychology and has got no real value. But essentially, just keep good eye contact. Don't stare at the person. So in terms of preparing yourself, just think about what the environment's going to be like. So you're going to be sitting down. It may be a hot day. I would suggest that maybe you take a bottle of water with you. If they offer you tea and coffee, invariably I would decline. I would tend to go for the, the glass of water. It's less aggravation for them. And occasionally I have known people to knock things over. There's nothing worse than knocked over a cup of tea or coffee. And, and certainly uh, water is much easier to mop up. Also, I've seen companies introduce biscuits and the, the interviewee has been hungry, a bit nervous. and They've stuffed all these biscuits in their mouth. And then the interviewer has asked them a question and it's exploded. So I would suggest that if you're offered anything like that, just, just avoid it. So for me, I think that preparation is important. Think about who you're going to go and see, how they want to see you come across. And we've discussed the interview questions, but at the end of the interview, please, please, if you think it's for you, let them know. And I would suggest you simply say, thank you for seeing me. I've really enjoyed the interview. Can I say that I'm interested in your company? And indeed, should you be interested, I'd, I'd be more than happy to come back again. Or indeed, maybe even say there and then that you're interested in, in joining their company if they were to offer you the job. It may be appropriate, it may not be. But if it is, ask them, can you have a little look around? Let them show you the workplace or maybe even meet some of the colleagues. For some companies, it's a no-no. Some companies will actually do that. And I've known companies that have I spent two, maybe three, four hours with a candidate, just showing them around, making sure they feel comfortable. And be ready for the fact that more and more companies today will say, we really like somebody, we've got a choice of two, maybe three, we're going to get them in for an afternoon or maybe a couple of hours, just to see how they settle down. So I hope that's given you a little bit of uh, advice, some, some ideas that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of how you can perform really, really well in the interview. In the next interview blog, we're going to be talking about body language. So I look forward to seeing you there. That's Graham Martin, the recruitment guy from orchardjobs.com, saying goodbye.